My name's Ben Watts. I'm a freelance visual effects artist from Swan Hill, Victoria. I spend all day on the computer designing, creating effects for television, film, advertising campaigns. Some of the brands and companies that I've worked for are Nike, Mercedes, work for networks like Netflix, uh, work for Paramount, Warner Brothers, and um, you know quite a few TV shows that people would be familiar with as well as some film work. I'm not really into film work because it's a bit long form. I like the, the shorter turnaround stuff, but yeah, a lot of advertising. As I said, I was always interested in um, art and design. I basically started out by uh, picking up a video camera. I took out a loan. It was really sort of like a shot in the dark and um, thought maybe there's, there's some way to make a career out of this. So I started filming weddings and uh, eventually got into local TV commercials. A few years later I found out I was really interested in visual effects. So I uh, spent a lot of late nights just learning the software, uh, getting like a free trial of it so I could get my hands on it and actually use it. Just playing with the software and just getting in there and, and trying to create stuff. Started to put my work up online and it got a lot of attention and before I knew it I was being invited to speak at international events and um, work on some of the really big uh, spots online for advertising brands like, like Nike, working with Marvel and uh, Disney and brands like that. Yeah, the industry is always changing. One of the, the key things to do is just always keep an eye out for any new content online in regards to the software that you're using. You know, when you're in this industry, you sort of there's a big community of people that you keep in touch with, colleagues and such, so you know, we're always talking to one another and just you know checking out what's new in terms of technology and stuff so you just you just keep involved in it and uh, it's just the best way to sort of know about what's happening my advice would be to try all the different areas of the industry like if you, you may want to be an editor or be behind the camera or in effects or a character animator I think initially you're not you're likely not to know which like part of that you want to you'll gravitate towards so I just so get in there and have a go and really just try and find what it is that you love to do and see if you've got a passion for it and then go for that. I think if you're looking to have a career in the creative field, good qualities would be passion, dedication and an eye for detail. Good organisation obviously goes without saying, but um, I think the eye for detail thing is something that some people just seem to have. I'm not really sure if it can be taught or not, but um, you can definitely improve that ability through um, just study, hard work, and just really looking into the work of others. Yeah, just really take the time to focus on detail. Some of the things I really like about working for myself are I've got my family close by at all times, which is great. I can work from anywhere. I just need an internet connection, which is nice. I work for a lot of international clients, so we've always got some form of time zone overlap so I can be working while they're in bed and that can be, they like that because it can be really productive. You know, there's, there's many good reasons to um, have your own business and work for yourself. One of the other things I love is being able to take breaks when I want, you know, go and do some exercise, get off the computer and stretch a bit, things like that. So the freedom is really, really good. I'd usually work on a typical day, probably between eight and 10 hours. A typical work day for me is usually getting up onto the computer probably about 8 a.m., usually have client meetings. Um, like I said, a lot of these clients are overseas clients, so we've got weird hours to you know keep and figure out with each other, but usually I'll do meetings in the morning that might go for an hour or less, hopefully. <laughs> and um, you know then I'll basically get into the effects work design hands-on type stuff on the computer and that'll go through for most of the day. Sometimes I'll have meetings to wrap up at the end of the day, but it's just a lot of emails in between that and all the usual stuff that you'd expect with running a business. But the bulk of it is, is the good stuff, you know, getting in there, creating the art and um, yeah, doing the stuff I love. Some of the best parts uh, of my career so far, I think, or highlights would be being asked to speak at international events industry events. I've done a talk in uh, Vancouver in 2018, another one uh, at the Fed Square complex in Melbourne that same year. But then I'd been asked, in addition to that, to go to Germany to speak about uh, one of the TV shows we worked on Netflix with. Um, a few other things I didn't get to attend and there was one cancelled this year which would have been awesome in Spain, which again was another big industry thing. So it's a shame that that one didn't come to fruition, but I'm sure there'll be many more 
to come. And in addition to that, just working for some of the biggest brands in the world with some of the most talented artists. You know, th there's always new stuff on the horizon too. So yeah, that would definitely be some of the highlights so far. So some of the work that you may see that I've completed, uh, the, the new Paramount Pictures intro screen, which is for all the animated films. It's meant to be coming out soon this year. Apparently that's meant to be around for 10 years. So that was a pretty good one to be involved in. I did some effects work on the new Shaun the Sheep movie uh, for the kids and um, just various other shows on Netflix, streaming services and things like that, uh, American Horror Story. Um, there's actually quite a, a lot, but there's, uh, there's always interesting projects popping up. Some of the challenges that I face uh, with my work would just be, you know, you've got to take someone's vision, which is usually something on a piece of paper or a few words or some pictures or whatever, You've got to bring it to life essentially, make it move just from nothing really. So that's really challenging um, as part as the main part of the job. And then, you know, you've got to be good with people. You, you're talking to different people from all walks of life all over the world. So, you know, you've got to have the skills to be able to deal with their feedback, their critique, things like that. You know, you can get blocked creatively. So sometimes you'll get on a new job and it just doesn't flow and it feels really tough. These are just things that happen with um, any creative job, you know, so you've got to just learn to overcome them and there's no sort of rule book on how to do it. It's just, it just comes with experience and um, drawing from other things you may have come across in the past and just perseverance. If I was to give anyone new advice on how to get into this field, I'd say be prepared to persevere because it's not easy. Um, learning anything like this uh, takes a lot of time and you just you just have to know that without that hard work and putting in the man hours you just you're not going to get the skills to to learn this craft it's just one of those things you're not just born with it like a musician or someone like that it's it's very rare that you can just walk straight into something like this and be good at it so i think you know, just be prepared. There's, there's going to be hard times when, when you're learning anything like this. It is technical, it's a deep industry, and there's a lot of people that are doing this type of thing. So, you know, to stand out, you've just got to find your thing, your passion and your niche and just, you know, explore everything and just really try and focus in on what that might be. And then once you, you'll know once you, you've found it. I certainly did, you know. As I said earlier, I sort of gravitated towards effects, and once I found that, you know, I never, I never really looked back because it was just something I was so into, and I couldn't put it down. So yeah, I'd just say, just be prepared to sort of for it not to happen overnight. These days, learning this sort of career path is much different to when I started learning uh, the software that I used back at the end of 2014 because there just wasn't anywhere near as many resources back then. So I was very alone in the sense that you know, there wasn't many courses or anything like that that I could even do if I had the money to do it. You know, for anyone new getting into this, I would say that there's, there's a lot of options. You know, you've got courses, you've got a lot of material online, tutorials, there's a lot of free stuff. So, um, you know, it's, it's a good time to learn something like this.